हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू फाइंड द फूर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ ए सिग्नम फंक्शन सिग्नम फंक्शन इज डिनेटेड बाय एस जी एन टी सिग्नम फंक्शन इज डिफाइंड बाय इट इज इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी ग्रेटर देन जीरो एंड इक्वल टू माइनस वन फोर्टी लेस देन जीरो ग्राफ का रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज दिस इज टी दिस इज वन एंड दिस इज माइनस वन फोर्टी ग्रेटर देन जीरो दिस इज इक्वल टू वन एंड फोर्टी लेस देन जीरो दिस इक्वल टू माइनस वन दिस फंक्शन इज नॉट एब्सोल्युटली इंटीग्रेबल सो वी कैन नॉट डायरेक्टली फाइंड द फूर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ सिग्नल फंक्शन For finding the Fourier transform of a signal function, let us consider the function x t is equal to signal t is equal to limit a tends to zero e to the power minus mod of a t. Sigma t. If we put a is equal to zero, then this becomes sigma t. It can also be written as limit a tends to zero for t greater than zero. It can be written as e to the power minus t u t minus For t less than zero, it can be written as this. I can show you how this is equal to signal function. For t greater than zero, u t is equal to one, and u minus t is equal to zero, and if we put a is equal to zero, then sim it simply becomes one. That's why for t is equal to zero, x t is equal to one. For t less than zero, u minus t is equal to one, and uh, u t is equal to zero. And if we put a is equal to zero, then it becomes minus one. X t is equal to minus one. Now for finding the Fourier transform, let us apply the general formula. That is x omega. Is equal to integration from minus infinity to infinity x t e to the power minus j omega t into d t. We can write minus infinity to infinity x t in place of x t. We can write this this limit a tends to zero e to the power minus a t u t minus e to the power u minus t e to the power minus j omega t into dt by breaking the integration minus infinity to infinity we can write limit a tends to zero e to the power minus a plus j omega T e to u t d t minus e to the power a minus j omega t u minus t into d t and integration is from minus infinity to infinity. Sorry, here we can write minus infinity to infinity. This is. Now, if we perform the integration, then we we know that from minus infinity to zero, it means for t less than zero, u t is equal to zero. It can only be defined for t greater than zero. So from we can write limit a tends to zero from minus infinity to zero. This is zero, and from zero to infinity, 
e2 is equal to 1 so we can write e to the power minus a plus z omega t into dt minus limit a tends to 0 now from minus infinity to 0 this is u minus t is equal to 1 and from 0 to infinity u minus t is equal to 0 so this this we can write it as minus infinity to 0 e to the power a minus j omega t dt now this simply becomes the integration we took the whole limit a tends to 0 at the outside the, the integration part and if we perform the integration then the integration of e to the power t is equal to e to the power t applying this formula we can write integration of e to the power minus a plus j omega is equal to by divide the cos this is and limit is from 0 to infinity and this becomes t minus because we are integrating with respect to time now this becomes limit a tends to 0 and if we put the upper limit e to the power minus a plus omega into infinity and if we we know that if we can multiply anything by infinity then it becomes infinity so it becomes simply e to the power minus infinity minus a plus j omega minus it put if we put 0 in the place of t this becomes 0 and it simply becomes e to the power 0 by minus a plus j omega similarly in we can write e to the power 0 a minus j omega and minus lower limit it e to the power minus infinity a minus j omega this is e to the power minus infinity and we know that we can add e to the power minus infinity as 1 by e to the power infinity this can be written as 1 by e to the power infinity and this becomes 0 so by applying this formula we can write this becomes 0 a minus e to the power 0 is equal to 1 and this is minus minus plus that's why we can write 1 by a plus j omega minus e to the power 0 is equal to 1 1 by a minus j omega and this is minus minus plus and e to the power minus infinity is equal to 0 so it simply becomes limit a tends to 0 1 by a plus j omega minus 1 by a minus j omega limit a tends to 0 we can write it as a minus j omega minus a minus j omega it can be written as limit a tends to 0 and a minus a it becomes 0 minus 2 j omega by a plus j omega a minus j omega and limit a tends to 0 if we put 0 in the place of a it becomes minus 2 j omega by 0 plus j omega 0 minus j omega this becomes this becomes minus 2 j omega divided by 0 0 so th this becomes simply minus this becomes simply j square omega square ok and this is equal to minus j square is equal to 
जे स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन सो माइनस वन एंड माइनस वन दिस बिकम प्लस दिस सिंपली बिकम माइनस टू जे ओमेगा बाय ओमेगा स्क्वायर This can be written as minus two j by omega and which is equal to two by j omega because if we divide and multiply. Numerator and denominator by j, it becomes j j square and j square is equal to minus one, minus minus plus and simply j. It remains in the denominator. It becomes two by j omega. Finally, we get the the Fourier transform of Sigmund function is equal to two by j omega. We can write the Fourier transform of Sigmund function is two by j omega. Thank you.